Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and I'm on for an update to talk about Postchain. And we're going to kind of take a quick look as to why Postchain is running and kind of look at some of the numbers from a volume perspective. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice, and you should always do your own research. And thank you to those who continue to support the channel. It definitely means a lot. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I ask that you hit that subscribe button as it'll greatly help me out. So with Postchain, it has just been on an absolute tear. Postchain is up 19.23% over the last 24 hours, and it has gone past the sack rate. So Postchain has lost a zero and is currently sitting at 0 0.00107, which is awesome, right? Postchain has been below that sacrifice rate for a while. I mean, it even got as low as four zeros and a three at one point. It was that low. And, you know, many in the post chain community, they were like, kind of like, you know, not feeling good about the situation. But it's kind of funny how things kind of turn around and kind of how sentiment turns around, right? And then as you can see, post chain is sitting at a $14.54 billion market cap. And that continues to rise. Liquidity is strong at 60.47 million. So the liquidity is strong. But what caused all of this excitement? Like what happened? And so we're going to go over to X real quick. And your friend Sami writes, Ripple has never bought a single XRP off the market. They only dump it. Cripple dumped 1.5 billion of XRP in 2021. Disgusting. And it goes, he goes on to say here, post chain sacrifice while it did a USDC slash die arbitrage and bought PLS, PLXX, and HEX with millions. <clears throat> right. So that was the kind of the narrative there. And then Martin kind of writes, again, this was like over a few days, but we're going to get to kind of closer and this says two hours ago a wallet directly related to sacrifice money has moved 5.7 million to a fresh wallet and then bridged to post chain so this kind of all started like post chain just all of a sudden just on a freight train mission like since like january 8th and it's just been kind of a a, a build up of days as with this volume right and then again you know Another uh, tweet here. It says post chain sacrifice related wallet used die to bridge and buy up 3.7 million worth of Richard Hart tokens, right? <clears throat> and let's go to if I can scroll. Let's see if we can go to pulse alerts. So we're gonna look here real quick. Pulse alerts. Let's see here. So it says 1.1 billion PLS just bought for 125k, right? And then they have the thing uh, with die, so they must have bought it with die. But a huge bag of PLS was just bought, and that that is impressive, right? And again, the run continues of more and more big buys kind of happening on chain. And then here it says 49 wrapped ETH bridge to Pulse Chain. 110K die bridge to Pulse Chain, right? So the whales know that this is a new layer one that's only been about out like eight months, in which there is a potential for them to be on the ground floor, buying at the ground floor. Well, essentially, we've had that nice run up, but. For this to like lose more zeros, man, this is this is crazy. What's kind of happening on Pulse Chain now, right? And then two billion PulseX just bought for sixty three point seven k, and then it says eighty wrapped ETH bridged to Ethereum. Yeah, so that's they're just kind of well, that was bridged over to Ethereum, but <clears throat> pretty much, you know, you kind of get the point. Let's see. And then it says 25k die bridge to pulse chain. So it's pretty cool to kind of look at some of these metrics and kind of see what's going on. 
And then heading over to deck screener, kind of looking at the buys versus the sales, some strong, you know, 4.4 million versus 3.8 million in sales. And then I kind of just categorize the buys and sales, $5,000 in sales and up, right? So as you can see, you know, it's always good to have some nice, hot, healthy buys and sales. But as you can see, somebody bought, you know, a little over 6K each right here in WPLS or Pulse Chain, right? Again, some, you know, somebody bought 10K worth of WPLS or Pulse Chain. So that's like a hundred million. Post chain there. Oh, that was a big sale there. Somebody bought thirteen thousand dollars worth of post chain. That's a hundred and twenty million wrap post chain, wrap PLS. Somebody bought forty seven, almost forty eight thousand dollars worth of PLS. Right, fourteen <clears throat> k, six clay, almost seven k worth. Right. You know, again, there's some big, uh, some big sales there. Uh, another big buy here an hour ago. Somebody put seventy three thousand dollars worth of Pulse Chain bought, and that's six hundred and sixty nine million PLS. So this thing is ready to rip and just you know continue that nice run up that we like to see this. Pulse chain is is headed to out of space. Looks like you know this thing is trying to melt faces. This is this is nuts, right? Twelve k buy, fifteen k buy, a couple of thirteen k buys, eighteen k buy, right? Another fourteen k buy. Somebody bought two hours ago thirty four k worth of WPLS. That's three hundred and twenty four million PLS. And let's see if we can find any more i mean the, the list goes pretty much on and on and look at this here right here boom somebody bought 100k worth of rap pls or pulse chain this is nuts and this is crazy guys if you are in pulse chain be excited position yourself in whether you're just scooping up pulse chain or different assets on pulse chain it is also a great time to be in some of these ROI dApps as well that will help you kind of achieve your goal, you know, such as Warren Finance is one that I'm in. Another one that I'm in is Post Trip. That's another one that's kind of helping me build my bags at an accelerated rate. But you can also do the simple thing of essentially like what a lot of us are doing. Also, the simple thing of just simply just buying Post Chain putting it in your wallet and just kind of waiting for that run up that, you know, that's just, that's the safest play right there as well. Just do that. Scoop up some post chain, not financial advice, but scoop up some post chain, throw it in your wallet and, you know, wait for kind of the unthinkable to happen. Bull run is kind of starting early. Imagine all of 2024 going into 2025. This could get crazy. Could we potentially see, a one cent post chain, you know, a hey, stranger things have happened. Don't underestimate kind of what Richard Hart is doing. You know, we've seen like the sacrifice money already being used. And I'm imagining that Richard Hart or whoever's monitoring that wallet is going to continue to use some of those funds over time and pump that back into the market it's gonna get crazy guys and the bullish news of richard hart you know he's come been coming out he's been talking about let's see let's go see if we can go to richard hart real quick he has been kind of talking about you know what's going on he's <clears throat> as he put out the tweet a few days ago he has lawyered up he has 11 lawyers that's going to be kind of going over his SEC case. So he essentially has a dream team that's going to help him, you know, pretty much. And, you know, we all hope that those lawyers are able to kind of help get him and help him win that case. So it could be a point to where as they just come to some sort of, 
you know, agreement or just kind of dismiss the case. But we'll see what happens with that. And, you know, here he goes on to say 2x price in four days was cool. 10% and 15% a day is also cool, right? So he's, you know, he's excited. He's kind of talking his stuff. You know, people doubted post chain and rightfully so. So, hey, let's see what happens. But for me, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, exciting times are happening in post chain as we've seen again that sacrifice wallet over the last, you know, week or so few days has been a few days where more of that sacrifice money has been coming into the market pumping the market and then also individual retail investors they've been buying bags at an accelerated rate this is nuts 14.5 billion dollar market cap and what 21.96 million in in volume (sighs) exciting times but I want to thank everybody for listening and thanks for stopping by.